All right, so on the dashboard here, on the home tab, right off the bat, you're gonna see your status board. So this is at a quick glance, all of your jobs and what statuses they're in from quoting and estimating all the way to invoicing and payments. And you have some quick actions here. So you can add customers, create an invoice job or estimate. You can see all of your tasks that are associated with various jobs and who they're assigned to. Up here, you can quickly add a new job, invoice, or estimate. And we'll walk through these tabs up here as well. So obviously you have your customers. So you can click these three dots and import your customer list. Then over here, we have sites. So this is where you can manage all of the field sites that you have, um, even if they differ from the customers. For instance, you might work for real estate agents that own multiple properties, so you can keep track of all of your sites. We have this health and safety tab. So Fergus places a big emphasis on health and safety. So you can keep track of any incidents that happen. You can keep track of safety meetings, as well as kind of in-house documentation on safe working methods. You have re compliance reports. So this is really handy to have and make sure that all of your field staff are maintaining uh, proper safety standards and keeping everyone safe on the job. Up here, you have your calendar and you can just drag and drop from the job tab over here onto the calendar and see all the jobs that you have. You can also toggle by vertical and horizontal view. You have your map to see all of your employees in the field. And the last tab is to keep track of your supplier documentation, specifically invoices. If you have outstanding balances that you need to pay off to your suppliers, you can upload them here, keep them in one centralized location. And then over here, this is your notice board and you or another employee can add a post, you can mention someone so that you can communicate with your team effectively, know what's going on. You can see various reports and generate reports so that you stay up to date on business information. You can see your tasks in one location as well as reminders of when they're due, all of your notifications, and you have a help tab to see various training videos. You can request a demo to get you, your account set up and then obviously you have your account settings here. So I wanna go back over to the home tab and we'll walk through creating a job. So here's what we're presented with. So you're gonna enter your client name and you enter the site address. If the site is the same as the customer address, you'll just click same as customer. Or again, if you're working for say a real estate agent, you can add a new site. We'll say same as customer. And if this job needs a quote or an estimate, you can toggle this on. We'll give the job a title and add the description or scope of work. You can enter purchase orders or a customer order number here. So we'll go ahead and create the job. So this is what estimate templates look like. You have some functionality to the format here by clicking this pencil icon. You can enter any notes for the estimate. And this is where we'll enter our line items. So we'll add a new section. And again, enter the scope of work. And here, if you've uploaded a price book, you can just start typing and it'll populate the line items or you can enter line items manually. And if you click this tag icon, you can change between a material or labor sales. And Fergus has a good in-house job costing functionality so you can see your profit for the job. So this figure would be the cost to your business, say it's $50 and we charge the price to the customer at $100. So once you enter all of your line items here, you can go up and click preview to make sure that everything looks good. And this is what will be presented to the client. Then we'll go to publish. And if you've confirmed verbally with the client, you can just click publish or you can send an email and you can add any additional files that you want to attach to the email as well as edit the, this template. And then within the email, they can either accept or decline it, which is nice and that will reflect in real time on the software. So we'll just click publish, mark it sent, and we'll say that the customer approved it. And then when we're ready to schedule, we'll click schedule, and the schedule will be populated here, and then you can drag and drop onto the timeline. You can adjust the duration of the job by clicking and dragging. So now when we go to look at the status, 
we can see that the job has been scheduled. And if we click into the job card, we can see that it's been assigned and it's on the schedule. And then from there, you click into the app, navigate to the job and start tracking your progress. So just quickly going over some of the details within the job card, we can see that this is the job summary. You have your client and the site. You have the job details. You have the job phase. And we can see a financial summary so you can get a glimpse of all of your costs associated with the job. You have a cost report. You have your notes and history. And you can edit the history as well as see all your files and photos and attach them. Then obviously you can see the estimate and make any revisions if you need to. You can see the invoice. You can check your tasks, any forms associated with the job, any hazards, and you can add new hazards, any checklists, and this is your costings tab. So you can see any outstanding invoices from your supplier or credits, as well as any purchase orders. And you can add new job phases as construction or the job progresses. So this is a good organized way to see in real time all of the details associated with the job, including costs and a summary. All right, so walking through the Fergus Go app, across the bottom we have Home, Calendar, Search, Create, Timesheets, and Menu. So on the Home tab, you can see all of the jobs that are scheduled that have been assigned to you for the day. If we go over to Assigned, we can see jobs that have been assigned to the technician but haven't been scheduled. And then unassigned are all the jobs that have not been scheduled or assigned to technicians. So if we go to calendar, we can see all the jobs for a given day. We can also uh, use this month view to select days to see jobs. And we can use this schedule button to quickly schedule a job or a custom event. And we can, if we click the job, we can view job details. If we click these three dots at the top, we can edit the job details. We can start our timer, start tracking our time on the job, and see all the pertinent information, the client name, address, and down here we have several tools that we can access so we can see all of the estimates that are linked to the job, as well as we can upload any photos or videos pertinent to the job, any files, forms, purchase orders. You can report any hazard incidents, you can write notes and see your checklists and invoices as well. And then this add button just quickly allows you to add a form, add a photo and a time entry. So then down here we have search so we can search for any job. We can create a new job, go over and over to timesheets. We can see all the hours tracked for a given day or we can do a week summary. And we can also add any uncharged time for things like travel time or unpaid breaks and then going over to menu we have some various settings so if we click into inquiries these are all of the service requests that leads have submitted from this form on your website which you can share as well from the app this has to be toggled on in the web version you can embed the form on your website so that leads can submit it and then all of the requests will be shown here you can also add inquiries manually so that's handy to have. Then you can see all of your tasks and the completed, any notifications. This notice board is kind of a centralized board where technicians can post updates and things. You can post your own updates for everyone to see on your team. Health and safety, you can post things like where the nearest hospital is. This has to be done on the web version. And you can record your own incidents and see a health and safety policy and then you can access some additional settings. So I think app. where Fergus shines is having a robust job card like this, as well as detailed cost reporting so that you can see your profit margin on each job. And I think that's really helpful. They also streamline the process if you work with a lot of suppliers um, to manage invoices, which also feeds into your cost data. And then you can connect that with your accounting software as well. Also, they place an emphasis on health and safety, like I said. And I think that's really important. And maybe some other field service software tools don't quite match this, the level of emphasis that, that Fergus has uh, in terms of keeping everyone safe on the job. So having like in-house documentation in a centralized location where everyone can access it, 
I think is really important. I think where Fergus could improve is in the integration center. So they don't have a ton of integrations. You can integrate QuickBooks or Xero. You can connect with your Google Calendar, uh, as well as some text features and an invoice reader. But that's about it. All right, so taking a look at the Fergus pricing plans, it looks like they have a promotion going on for the basic and professional tiers. I'm not sure how long this is going on for, but usually it looks like the basic package is 48 the professional is $68. So this is a, a very steep discount right now. Uh, but let's go over some of the features here. So it looks like for job management, we have a lot of the features, including in the base plan. However, this is kind of concerning job cards. You only have 10 per month. So if you're like a handyman or you have a lot of clients, then I feel like you'd burn through 10 per month pretty quickly. Um, so that's kind of concerning and, and you'd have to jump to the professional tier right out of the gate. Let's see what else we have. So on the basic package, we don't have checklists or forms. We have inquiry management, which is pretty nice. You can manage leads and you have uh, price book functionality, obviously estimating, quoting, scheduling here, materials. Let's take a look at communication. So you can't upload files and photos. You do get customer alerts, send customer reminders and alerts via text and email. So that's very nice to have on the base plan. You don't have tasks, cash flow, can't track purchase orders, tiered pricing, or you can't do a payroll export. But on the basic plan, you don't have access to their health and safety functionality, job reporting. So you can take a look at your financials per job. That's helpful. And as far as integrations go, it looks like on both plans, it's about the same except for the supplier integrations. So if you prioritize having help with their in-house staff to help you get trained on the software and continued support, it looks like you don't have access to that. But they do have some uh, demos and videos to walk you through getting set up. And I don't think this software is terribly complicated, so you should be okay. And you have your 14 day trial. So again, at the time of this video, this is a heavily discounted per month offer. So this might be something to look into off the bat. Although again, the 10 job cards per month is kind of concerning, but with this decreased rate, I mean, you could just jump to the professional plan and have a really low monthly payment. And also, the, the verbiage on their pricing site here says handyman business. So it looks like they're, this software would be ideal for a handyman business or a single person business that's similar, like maybe a cleaning service or power washing service. 